Shades of Vengeance presents Stiletto Unit 447 CE, a continuation of the story of the Consortium. <laughs> Any more no. questions? No. Okay. In no. that case, uh, I encourage you all to board the shuttle, which is currently waiting in the docking bay. Uh, minimal supplies on the right. shuttle, I'm afraid. There isn't even uh, there isn't even much in the way of equipment. There's enough to repair your implants if they're damaged. You know, there are tools, but there's not much in the way of equipment. Mm. Sorry, we just we don't have anything spare. We've got no money. I've already had to lay off five of the minions. So, you are aboard the shuttle, um, and you are now able to have a short period of time where you're able to prepare for your mission. Um, you're going to be entering a, a, a heavily guarded area aboard the Britannia Space Station. So, what do you guys want to do, if anything, to prepare? I want to create some fake security passes for everybody. Okay. Um, uh, I would like you to roll me a charisma larceny, please. Uh, can I instruct on this as well? Because yes, I have a point of larceny. You can roll me a charisma instruction. Six. You don't have instruction, do you? I do. You do? Okay, so there's no limit to how many you can transfer. Yeah, but that's only one success. So you transfer one success. Two successes. So in total, you've got two successes. Wow, you have some brilliant forged IDs. They would fool anyone. They are the <laughs> best ever. <laughs> Both of you experts think so. <laughs> best ever. Can I just submit a form for a uh, be taken to another team? You you want to fill out the you want to fill out a form for a transfer to a different team? Yes. Um, <laughs> no. None of the other teams will take you. None of them are desperate enough. Uh, um, I it's was only thinking... because Exotixel wasn't allowed any recruits. Yeah. <laughs> just so it's on record, I just want to mention that I'm dropping the disposable rocket launcher. Oh! Wow! You listen to Exotixel. No one does that. <laughs> Not even Exotixel. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one apart from Exotixel does that. <laughs> Stiletto okay. unit never listened to him. Resistance <laughs> High Command clearly doesn't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just make note here, no light armor, so... Yeah, fine. How long is the journey? Uh, oh, it's long enough for you to change if you want. Yeah, I drop high to four legs instead and only have one rifle. Okay. Okay, you are now four-legged. You want to be four-legged rather than humanoid. The speed. Ah, yes. Um, right, so everyone's done with whatever they wanted to do in the shuttle. Mm -hmm. um, am I correct in assuming that Katal is your pilot? Yes. Yep. Well, I'm not flying anything. Is anyone sitting in the co-pilot seat? I'll go and sit in the co-pilot seat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you're sitting in the co-pilot seat. You're approaching Britannia. And uh, you're going to get a communication from the space station. So, um, you receive a communication which pops up on your screens, and uh, it's it's a guy in CNC uniform, um, not not armor or anything, just just a CNC company uniform. And uh, he's sort of he's not paying much attention. He goes, "Yeah, uh, unidentified shuttle. Please state your flight clearance and destination." Ah. Uh... I'll make up a, a, a useful flight clearance. Uh... What does flight clearance normally sound like? I said flight clearance and destination. Uh, well, we're heading over there. We've got no cargo. <laughs> <laughs> over um... where? Come on. <laughs> Are you a licensed pilot or not? <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm a licensed pilot. We're, we're just gonna um, take a quick landing. We're just here to uh, bolster security. Wait, do you have cargo or don't you have cargo? No cargo, just security people. Just security personnel. That's cargo! <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realise that living people count as cargo. How long have you been a registered pilot? What's your licence number? Uh, one five seven six nine two one one three. 
15769213, you say? No. No. There doesn't appear to be a pilot with that license number. Are you sure? Yeah. Very, very, very sure. Oh. Maybe my friend next okay, to me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have to send you to the impound, uh, uh, to the impound dock. Um, suspicious activity. Beep. Uh, please follow the coordinates. And for God's sake, don't damage the station. <laughs> Click. Just uh, boost her straight to the same location that we're going. Ignore that message. You want to ignore that message and go and go where you're going? No. Yeah. Tol, I, uh, you obviously are the pilot. Um, yeah. Nora has made it clear that she thinks you should ignore the request to go to the impound dock. What do you plan to do? Uh, I will do what Nora says and carry on our we course. Five intelligence. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We've been told that this shuttle can outrun anything they've got. Beep, beep. Uh -oh. Beep, beep. Hello? Why are you not following the course I gave you? We are. No, you're We're not. Going to... Are you sure? You might yes. want to resend those. Um... I am very, very sure. Resends. Beep. You might want to recheck those coordinates. <laughs> you're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't follow the coordinates we will shoot you down any questions i change course okay Smart. that's better well <laughs> done <laughs> A security team will meet you on arrival uh, to uh, verify uh, your pilot status and uh, also to um, assess the uh, best location for your security personnel. Beep. Click. Okay, there's nothing in the ship. So, and we're fine. We have our little passes. Um, I say give... Uh, Nora, some alcohol so she smells drunk. Come in there and just blame it on her drunkenness. Blame it on her drunkenness. Yes. That's an interesting idea. Plus, she's going to try to do some anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to be drunk to seduce them. Uh, no. no, no, no. But it gives a good excuse for you <laughs> seducing them and also acting like an idiot. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, Bonsai, you're going to walk up to Nara with some alcohol, and how forcefully are you going to try to make her drink it? Are you going to hand it to her, or are you just going to try and pour it down her throat? It's okay, I don't need force. I'll just take the alcohol and down it. Okay. <laughs> roll me a double... Uh, no, roll me a double stamina, Nara. Double stamina, so that's ten, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just splash them on her. <laughs> That works. Well, it works for Valithi. He figures ten. maybe humans will vomit through the skin as well. Uh, <laughs> ten, that's a nine, that's a nine. Ten, I'm re-rolling two, that's a nine, that's a nine. Uh, it's very successful. Oh, boy. Eight. Is it so, more than 13 successes? It's not. More than 13 successes, You no. need 13 successes. He got something strong. Oh. He's vodka. Uh, whatever it is... It was made by Zimians, and it will take paint off. <laughs> the cheap vodka. <laughs> and you'll probably get your sight back within three days. Oh, no. <laughs> it's made out of Valithi. It's a good job I have a bionic eye. Yeah, the problem with your sight is not really related to your eyes. <laughs> oh, God. You are totally off your face. <laughs> you, you are totally, totally smashed. Um, okay, and uh, uh, presumably you're coming into Doc Katol. I am going to make you roll one dexterity in pilot, please. Oh, okay. God. Uh, that's six dice. Uh, that is three successes. Yep. You, you dock exactly where they told you to. No problems. Good. Um, so, uh, do you open the door immediately, or do you sit there and wait, or what? 
I wait to be told to. Okay, so uh, to come. Uh, the the three of you are now in the back. I'm assuming you didn't leave Nara in the front, totally plastered. No, no. no. Um, so the three of you in the back section hear a knock, knock, knock. Metal glove on on metal door. Okay. Um. Go to door. Then you hear a bang, bang, bang. I'm going to the door. Yeah, go to the door. Open. Okay. Open. Yep, opening. Um. So there are three guys. They're all in. Um, CNC colonization and construction colors. Uh, mm -hmm. So similar kind of armor styles to the to the Smurtios security dudes, but they're CNC guys instead of Smurtios guys. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and and sort of there's a sergeant in heavy armor. Um, he walks in. He sort of strides in, pushes um, Bonsai. He pushes you out of the way and strides into the shuttle. Okay. Um, um, he he's he's looking for Nara. So he pushes Bonsai out of the way. Bonsai, do you react? I just step backwards and... Right. Um, he's like, where's that pilot? He's going to walk up and, and, and sort of walk up to the to the cockpit. He's going to walk straight past you guys. Walk up to the cockpit mm -hmm. and go to Katal. You the pilot? Yep. You're under arrest. Gross violations mm -hmm. of, uh, of CNC um, space conduct. You were ordered to go on a course, and you failed to observe it. Stand. You're coming with us. Um... What will be the fine, do you think? How much will the fine, fine? be? Fine? Huh. Wait, how many of them are in the... There, there was this guard sergeant and then two medium armor people. Okay. Yeah. Put my head out the... So I'll see if I see anyone else. No, it's pretty empty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, no, he's literally trying to frog march you out the door. Relly Flissy, I think now might be your time to shine. Um, wait, 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 wait. It's a misunderstanding. It really is a misunderstanding. It's just basically our other, um, a fellow pilot, um, Got a bit drunk. She drank too much, and uh, she only advised not to because she thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, Nora, could you please roll me a double stamina again? I want to see if you're passed out on the floor or if you're just giggling. <laughs> Presumably, you... success am I in... looking for? Uh, I, I just want to know how many successes you got. Um, presumably, you are indicating Nora at this point. Yes. Yeah. Four. Uh, you are giggling. <laughs> um, uh, he sort of he sort of looks at Katal. He looks back down at Nara. He's like, "I've got to take someone back. Whose fault is it?" Uh, I point out at Nara. I point out at Nara. Nora. And I just kind of go like that. The Nora. sergeant. <laughs> Nora has the best chances to do her way out of prison. So everyone Nora. apart from Nara points at Nara, and Nara points at the sergeant. <laughs> All right, he grabs he grabs Nora's wrist, picks you up, and, and sort of drags you along. Okay, you're coming with me then. The rest of you, please report to uh, um, uh, immigration. Okay. Uh, he sort of drags Nora. He drags you away. How you say? Have a nice day. You're very stumbly. Roll me a double dexterity. <laughs> uh, tenth oh, threshold. Dexterity. Hanging Nora out to dry. <laughs> no tens. Uh, any ones? No ones. Okay, well, you stumble and fall over, but he's holding your wrist, and he's just walking along, dragging you along. <laughs> he's unimpressed. Drunken antics are not what he wanted. <laughs> um, anyway, he's going to take you through the station. You guys, there are some very clear signs to immigration and so on. Okay. Go on immigration. Yep. yep. Okay. So on. as you as you approach immigration, you know you know at airports there's like those signs with the with the little crosses through things. Mm -hmm. No weapons except for security personnel. Okay. Um, uh, you know, no no bottles of water, obviously. Mm. Um. Uh, um. Uh, you, you, no pets. Um. 
you know that sort of thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just like the the basics the the only mm-hmm. thing is you know i mean i mean obviously no weapons except for security personnel yeah but mm-hmm. well, we have our lovely security passes that are forged so the best all those work the best security passes <laughs> yes. uh... Okay, uh, so uh, you're, you're going to approach immigration. Um, they're going to uh, sort of ask you to hand them your weapons. Okay. Which okay you... yeah, and, yep. and my weapon. Yep. Um, cool. And then they're going to pass you through a weapon scanner mm-hmm. um, to make sure that you don't have any other weapons, uh, which all of you don't. Then they are going to uh, check your security passes. So you've got two successes, right? Yep. You jammy gits. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, yeah, it, it does say here that you're registered uh, CNC security personnel. Um, you don't seem to have regulation armor. No uniforms. Why? Um, we'll tell you we get them here. Oh, right, okay. Uh, in that case, please report to the quartermaster. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, welcome aboard Britannia. Thank you. Have a nice day. To the quartermaster, free weapons and uniforms. Uh, right, so you, you guys are headed to the quartermaster. Nara, you are still drunk. Um, you're thrown into a cell and the, and the door's locked. Well, do- Forcefield. Mm. Um, yeah, you, you're in the cell. Still drunk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Roll me a double a double dexterity to see if you can laugh <laughs> without like without I'm choking. <laughs> it being like a <laughs> like that or something like that. Uh, two successes. Yep, you 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 laugh lying in the cell. <laughs> they think you're drunk. <laughs> you're gonna have a hell of a hangover. Mm. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> have a medic. If we ever catch her again. You really, 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 really regret downing that alcohol. <laughs> okay, so the rest of you are headed for the quartermaster. Um, it's pretty clear. You get on the left. You go to floor 30. Quartermaster. You walk out. And it's like a cornucopia of weapons, right? It's oh. like... It's 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 Bonsai's dream. Right? He's like, oh, yeah. He stops for a moment. You see a little, like, vent, little... Find something, just go straight out. <laughs> Music, like he's singing from his soul, is projecting out of it. That whistling language of theirs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, um, the the quartermaster's standing behind the desk, sort of looking at you. The the desk is between you and and the rest of the weapon, so he has to go and get them for you. <laughs> so he's going to go, yep. Right up to him, be like, new recruit, need supplies. You seem to be wearing supplies. Where'd you get those? Mine personal. Told come here, armored, ready to fight, would be equipped here. All right, trade in your equipment, I'll give you some back. I need uniform too. Yeah, 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 with, yeah, with the colors, yeah. You're a sergeant, right? Yes. Roll me a charisma persuasion, please. Uh, it's actually charisma luck, I'm afraid, for you. <laughs> well, that actually helps me since I have more luck. <laughs> no, because you have to roll tens. Oh, dear. Jack of all trades. <laughs> oh, if you have jack of all trades, you can put it in, yeah. Yeah. So charisma persuasion with persuasion of one... That gives you two dice. <laughs> nice. Nice, two dice, two dice. Two eights. Um, okay. He got one eight. Okay, uh, so he'll take your equipment and he'll give you back a set of heavy armor that's in um, C&C colors. Do you want the bad news now? I don't know. It's I'm low grade it. heavy armor, plus two, plus three. Not plus two, plus four. He'll also hand you an assault rifle and, and switch it. That one's the same, though. 
it's just it's a it's a standard issue um cnc one so it looks different but it's it's the same they painted it differently no no, no it's actually a different model this sort of like a pawnbroker thing like i get a ticket to get mine back when i leave no it's gone uh next well do uh... only get uh, sidearms knives only if you're trading them in next Next. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yes. Hi. I'm Nurukru. Uh. Was uh pointed to here to get the more and such. Uniform. Yes. All right. Uh. He throws a he throws a jumpsuit at you. Okay. There you go. Next. <laughs> yeah. Walk up. Same as the last two. Hand over my armor. Um. Yep. Medium armor stays roughly the same. He hands you some medium armor in, in CNC colors. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where do we go for orders? Because we were just told to come here and get supplies. 32. Headquarters. Okay. Hey, can we pick up a, another uniform? A buddy of ours is drunk and currently in the drunk tank. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you need to uh, to exchange... Uh, exchange, I'm afraid. I mean, just for a jumpsuit? Yeah, I mean, even if it's a broken piece of item, a uh, broken item, we have to exchange it for the old one to make sure that no one's getting five guns because quartermasters <laughs> are, like, embezzling from the company. <laughs> something about something about my predecessor. He, go, he, he sort of goes back to flicking through a gun magazine. <laughs> The players were George as Bonsai, Katie as Relu Flissy, Rina as Nara Sobek, and Robert as Katal. The GM was Ed Jowett. Era the Consortium was created by Ed Jowett and is copyright Shades of Vengeance Limited. We'll be back with another episode before long, but if you'd like to find out more, please visit our website, www.shadesofvengeance.com. <laughs>